I'm going live. Hi, ladies. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Here we are. So the joys of live. Sometimes yeah. there's a little bit of a technical issue. So it's joys a or a, what, something else. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmares. <laughs> you were just texting today. You had a uh, you know live related. And I now think, I'm, I think I'm, I think so. So I'm, I'm sorry. living it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. So technically, we're not really late because we didn't do the countdown. So yeah, we're right on time. <laughs> we're right on time. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Um, and uh, yeah, so we had a little bit of a stressful episode. So we're going to try to just like breathe and relax. Let's say hello to everybody. Hello, hello Sandra. Hey. Hello. Well, Fridays, yes. Who doesn't, right? Oh, yeah. Well. Hi, from, hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. It's moving so fast. So also thank you to all of you who sent us stars on Facebook last week, but um, even so for supporting us on our template platform now that we are using, coffee.com. Yeah, coffee.com. Yeah, coffee um, Amber released her uh, filigree, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And today, Marlon has something special prepared, I think. Yeah, so we each have, um, did you put it at $2, Amber? I did. I put yes. all of my all of my templates um, today are $2. And I'm going to keep it that way for the next 24 hours, because last week you mentioned that some people can't get to the live in time. So they'll all be $2 through tomorrow. And Han has her. She she. I has, have a I have a template of five actually five um, five templates for the soccer ball, baseball, a basketball, um, tennis ball, volleyball, and they are all um, available on coffee.com. I have to, however, lower. I kept the price a little higher because it's five templates. But, yeah, um, that makes sense. Um. I was thinking of lowering it to five dollars for the duration of twenty-four hours, but it's still at eight. So I'm going to just excuse me for one minute. <laughs> okay. As, as I'm going to update it. I just those tennis ball cookies are so cool. I love the texture. So here I'm just gonna quickly uh, mention I have a live class. If anybody's interested to come and hang out and we can uh, you know decorate cookies and have a little visit. So live yeah. class on May 1st, just in time for Mother's Day. So you'll be able to make them with, a, you know, the class and then either eat them yourself or give them to your mom, whatever you decide yeah. to do. <laughs> and the Kofi link was there. I think I have a ticker version. I'm back. Here's the link. And so on, my, on mine today, it's animal print. For those of you that are, uh, you know, so inclined. I thought it would be cute for my purse, my purse video that I just uh, did. That's oh, those are really cool. If you haven't yeah. seen those, yeah, those are really cool. So that's my favorite cool. is the is that that's Chihuahua, right? The dog. That's the Chihuahua in the purse. Yeah, it's my Chihuahua favorite. Day. And that's so in cute. my little uh, coffee shop. So if you want to go check that out. And yeah, so that's it. So do I start? Yes, please. Yeah, we'll start. So here, let me put my camera on and we'll do the dance. I think it's this button. There we go. Oh, I'm a little bit too close. There we go. So there is, um, it's a leopard print, but mirrored. I was looking at bags and this is a fun project, the purses, because um, like not all of us obviously are fashion designers, but it's kind of a fun way to channel your inner designer. Oh, why did it stop here? Let me press it two times. And so you can channel your inner kind of, uh, you know, you can do the colors you like, or maybe if you're good at making stencils, you could do, you know, like um, some of the Fendi and all that. It's like their initial, you could do your mom's initial, or you could do so many different patterns. And so here's the little matching shoe to go with the bag. Oh, I love that. You That's so cool. So you know, I, I remember you had made these for me a while ago. Remember the, the shoe you did? I got the shoe years ago, maybe 
I don't know. A long time ago. A long time ago. A long ago. time ago. Yeah. So that's the other thing I wanted to mention in the coffee shop for, uh, for uh, it's just listed there. If you're interested, you can get the supply list for where you can get the cutter and this pretty little bow cutter. I have the links to all the supplies, the airbrush I like and the stencil plastic I like. I get all these questions usually when I'm doing this type of a tutorial. So I have the, the little um, kind of supply list there. So the purse, I'm going to do it two ways. So here it is. This one is white and it's dry, obviously. And here I'm resting again. I mirrored my zebra print and I thought it looked nice on the purse having a, um, like, you know, like it was not just lines going all the way across that it mm -hmm. had center point. So I'm using magnets to weight it down. I had trouble because of the handle fitting it in a stencil holder. Mm. Everything wasn't um, the right size. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave it there and then I'm going to airbrush it in black. So you want to hit when you're working in black, less is more. You layer so that you try and not get too much under spray. And if you're hitting from the side, well, the color tends to get underneath your plastic. So if you're hitting mm -hmm. from the top, right, then it's landing right straight down and you're not getting so much of the color going under the plastic. Mm -hmm. And the, the more like heavy you go, well, then again, you'll get the under smush, I call mm -hmm. it, <laughs> build. Well, it has time to dry by the time you come back on it. Okay. Right? And it doesn't have to be jet black. So airbrush color does get on your lips when you're eating these cookies. It's uh, in your nose, no? I'm sorry, what hand? When you're airbrushing, it also gets in your nose. Yeah. Uh, you that's know what I found, honestly, is these little um, wireless airbrushes, the pressure is not as strong as like the big heavy compressor ones. Mm. I don't find that it's as much of a problem getting the food color up your nose with this. <laughs> but that's a concern. <laughs> Are you, did you put straight color in there or did you dilute it with something? No, this is just straight black, but I'm not pulling my trigger all the way. Okay. I'm just lightly adding my my black to it and now we're going to lift it off and there we have our beautiful zebra print oh, that was so good and that was so fast too yes 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 so i did on the shoe here and i just wanted to show you if your line isn't Ooh, look at that well that is pretty wow. if your line is super super sharp you can come in and, and pipe over it so you have this exact guideline and you can easily follow it here i did it in pink but you could do it in oh my gosh so many different color palettes and this is in the first tutorial i have the template to make the little pocket so you can pick the pocket you want to put on your purse here you see or this one here the little buckle which one do i stick this one or this one i love the one with the little gold button yeah i have to say i like that one too and it, it shows a bit more the zebra Oh, so, so these templates are in your coffee shop. Yes. So the animal print is separate from the purse. The purse has the the, the lizard skin. Okay. The reptile skin version. So you just press it on gently. And the other thing that I made, and it's up to you if you want to put, you can put a little bow. You know, there's so many little accent things you could add. And so here's the, the zebra. Now let's do a leopard. Can you talk about that bow? What is that? So that's, I'll decorate one after I have it, but this is a bow cookie. Here it is. I have, oh. I have the cutter in the supply list. So if you want to find that, it's there. The, the seller of that particular cookie cutter is listed okay. in that supply list. If you want to be able to find it. And again, here's the leopard print. And it's a print that you see, it's got a mirror. It's kind of, you know what it reminds me of? of the, you know, those shrink, um, ink splotches you know that they would fold and see, yeah. to see what you, you saw or right. this what exactly that diagnosis but uh we saw it in the movies you know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. i mean the, the handle is licorice right that's right so it's just brown now so this was um 
gold, uh, the gold icing. So not gold metallic, gold the color, Americolor has a nice. Several questions about, I guess that's your next project, project giraffe print. Oh yeah, do you have giraffe? Oh no, I didn't do giraffe. I didn't do giraffe. I tried the tiger and I didn't find that it uh, was a different enough from the zebra, so I didn't bother. Yeah, yeah, you could just change the color on that one. Yeah. So I'm just doing some brown on this one. I'm gonna weight it down again. Because it's so big, it's hard to put in the in the holder. So you don't have to go super, super heavy. So there it is. And now the black. And the thing that's great about this particular stencil, you know, sometimes I've had trouble with my alignment to know where to put it. Well, mm -hmm. because it's a mirror, that's not a problem in this particular case. So this is a double stencil. How neat. It is a double stencil. So I'm just aligning. I'm kind of looking to make sure that I'm aligning properly. And now I'm going to grab my black. And be careful which one you grab before I grab the wrong color. <laughs> now I'm coming in with my black. And the, the black kind of dots align on top of the brown. And you're just layering the two stencils. And this is like what kind of gives it the more kind of leopard look. Mm -hmm. And you're just using magnets to hold down the stencil? I am. Because, like normally I think I would use the holder, but just because of the size right now, it's not allowing me to do that really well. That handle impedes the holder too. Cynthia is asking how large is the cookie? It's six inches. It, it's a big, it's for a gift, you know, format. Mm -hmm. It's not mm -hmm. so big, like it's not a giant thing. I find that it's, you know, manageable. And so if, you're, if your color is a little bit wet, you can actually, depending here, it worked on the other one. You can pat, you see this brush? I don't even know what this is made out of, but they're like, it's a kitchen thing. And you're just like dragging it over. And it worked particularly on this one. And it just gave it more of a fur look. Oh yeah, like that's cool. Mm -hmm. So here, I just wanted to show here, I had a hiccup here. My stencil jumped. And so this is where you add things. You're like, oh, you know, this is so, you just put a little decorative element and then nobody knows. Mm -hmm. And here, like I thought about this pocket, but then it hides a lot of your kind of details. Mm -hmm. so it's really up to you what you want to add there. But I kind of like it just like this. Yeah, that's awesome. I have another one of my gold ones that I have left over. I, that gold button is just so realistic. I love that. So I'm just going to move it. So this is kind of like a gray. So I'm just going to darken it with the airbrush so that it matches a bit better. And I find that when you make your stuff like dark gray and then you come in with the black, well, it gives it less of a flat look. Mm -hmm. you know, it looks a little bit more dimensional. Yeah. What's the, what is the button again? It's a gold like M and M type candy thing. It's, oh, it's a cake supply cool. thing. So instead of like a pearl, it's more like really an M and M shape, but it's mm -hmm. it's metallic. It's really yeah. Perfect. Jeremy is saying that you're showing off. I am. I am. Sorry. Can you, how is the licorice attached? It's it's embedded. It's in the tutorial of the purse. That's on the. Oh, okay. So yes, they, yes. I, so you can you can you can get the full tutorial yes. on how to create the purses on Marlene's template shop Marlene's template shop coffee.com forward slash um, so this is not in my like I didn't think this completely through when I made the cookie. So this is very dark chocolate, and then I'm coming in with black icing. So it doesn't give for much of a of a contrast, but like I didn't really know what color I was going to decorate them when I made them. So maybe don't put black icing on a chocolate cookie. It's hey, just kind of lacks a bit of. Um, Angie is asking if this is also in your school uh, cookie school page. It is. It is. And so I'm just adding here these little lines in the middle of the bow. This is to give like the look of pleats. Mm -hmm. Put those on top. But the pleat on top, I find, looks 
peculiar. Mm -hmm. I like it better like that when it creates like a dimple, like an actual pleat in a in a thing, right? Nancy, yeah. you can see the name of the website on the screen. I'm gonna put a link in the comments. Okay, you're gonna put the link. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link so they can click on it. Thanks. Okay, so this is. And so I just outlined that little bow. So just normally I like to do everything in one consistency, but just because of the like the way that the bow is and that everything was so dark, I did let it dry and then I'm filling it. And I didn't go jet black just because it was so dark. So it's like a really dark charcoal gray, but not quite black. And you don't want to cut a hole too big just so that you can inject basically the icing in between these little mm -hmm. cracks here so that you can kind of press it in. And then once you're done, you can kind of make the hole bigger for your other sections. But you see this way I can really like get in between the little pleats that I created. And then you can kind of bump up the icing and the pleat kind of holds that, that icing down and creates like a dimpling. It's a... Mm -hmm. It really like pulls, it makes it rounded right there. Olga, my recipe is in my coffee shop. So you see, you see the little, I don't know if they, can you see it? See the dimple? Yes. yes, we do see. Yeah, that's really cool. These little bows, like if you get like these types of little, little cookies, they work for so many different projects. Like this bow, you could put it on the handle of an Easter basket on just about like any girly project. You could put it on a square cookie and make a gift. It's one of those cute shapes, you know, that you could use again and again and again. Mm -hmm. We have a question about pricing, Bobby. He's asking about pricing chocolate cookies. Would um, you charge more for chocolate well, cookies than uh, sugar cookies because of the cocoa powder ingredient? I think that you need to think about how many you're doing. Like if you're just doing a few, maybe not bother, I guess. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can kind of like average it out. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Amber? Like, I mean, I would say that you should probably always just consider the cost of your ingredients, but um, yeah, so that's something you would probably have to create some kind of document for yourself so you can keep track of all the different ingredients that you're using. Um, there's like software that can help you cost out recipes, but I think it's easy enough just to do the math. Do the calculations yourself. Because this is very expensive cocoa. This particular cocoa mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. very chocolate. So, uh, you know, there's different qualities. And so you can, yeah, uh, you know, that's also like a factor. If you get like just on a Costco cocoa, it's right. not that much. And it depends also how much your recipe takes. So Carla is asking, how do you keep your icing shiny once dried? We do talk about this a lot, but if you wanted to touch. Um, I, in my case, I don't really consciously do anything. I think it might be um, <laughs> might be just the fact that it dries pretty quickly. And I think meringue powder in some cases does impact the sheen. My um, mm -hmm. meringue powder has, like, I mean, I just buy it and I don't have much of a role in that, but it, it dries well. <laughs> So I would say if you are in a humid or area or uh, if it's too wet or something, just try to increase the air circulation using fans mm -hmm. and things like that to um, expedite the drying process. The right. longer it takes to dry, um, duller usually realizing ones. So the great thing about airbrushing on a chocolate cookie is you don't really see the overspray. You see now, if I was airbrushing black like this on a, a vanilla cookie, it would look like a hot mess. But because, <laughs> because it's on a chocolate cookie, they don't see that, right? Mm -hmm. And I can just now come in and add a little knot. I had uh, put icing 
like as a base there when I did my initial lines, knowing that I was going to want to come and add a knot. And I like it better when the knot is a bit dimensional like this, you know, mm -hmm. being flat kind of looks more like a, like a I real. I like the fact that it's dark, but you actually. You do? Mm -hmm. I do too, yeah. So this is another bow that I have. You see, you could put it on the back of the oh, shoe. Oh, how cute. Put it on the front Where of the Where is shoe. this? Is this also from Amazon? Is it listed in your list of so this one, I didn't have the vendor for this particular one, but you just look up for a mini bow. Etsy has a ton of different little bows. Most 3D cutter places can print almost in any size. And so I thought that was a cute little accent cookie. If ideally you can stick it in the wet icing, then it like really embeds in there and kind of even tilts. So I, I like it almost better when it's like that than if it's like straight on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can package it with your uh, little purse set. That is just too cute. Have, if you wanna have the bow on the purse, the bow on the, on the shoes. I mean, you could get real uh, creative with your designs. Oh, I had cut out. Thank you, Susan. I had cut out a different. So again, because I was preparing last minute, of course, things always like happen when you're prepping last minute. For my stencil, and I already work with very thin plastic. It's in my uh, supply list, the plastic that I use. And see, some of it didn't cut through. You see, like some of the holes aren't cut through. Mm -hmm. So you ideally after you've cut your stencil if you can lift off only one corner don't unload it from the cutting machine just lift up the corner and see if it cut well before you unload it because sometimes you can send the job back in and if you haven't unloaded it it's going to be perfectly aligned and, and recut so that you don't waste a piece of mm -hmm. so here yeah, i had to do that yesterday my, i think my blade is already a little dull it doesn't take long <laughs> yeah I saw, oh, this is the wrong color. I saw a thing where the they were cutting on aluminum foil to sharpen oh. their Oh, wow. Thank you. Have you seen that? Oh, thank you, Roseanne. That's so sweet. I did not see that, but that's a really interesting tip. Has anybody tried that, cutting with the aluminum foil to sharpen your silhouette for your cricket blade? Yeah, let us know. I have not, but I have seen it. I think we, we talked about that, that they, somebody used the foil to sharpen. Oh, sharpen, you know what? The, it was the punches. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah, they used punches to sharpen the mm -hmm. blade. Um, is there a because I always thought that the aluminum foil is going to dull the blade. Yeah, me too. Um, do you have a recipe for your that dark chocolate cookie? Yeah, that's in the... In the coffee too. Okay, so go to uh, Marlin's Coffee Shop. The link is in the comments, and it's also up on the screen there. And also, Donna has a good question. When you are using um, different colors with your airbrush, are you using multiple airbrushes, or do you use one? Uh, yeah. And wash the color out. No, I the thing is, is it depends how everybody works different. If you don't airbrush a lot and you just do it here and there, then you're probably fine with one. But I airbrush a lot and then I do the videos and everything. So I have four, and I find that it's just easier. You're not constantly like, and when you're washing out your airbrush, you're wasting your product, right? It's going down the drain. Mm -hmm. Can Thank, you, Thank you. We also have a question. Uh, the stencils that Marlon is using, are they make it with the cricket? That's with a silhouette. Silhouette. Like, so it's similar to the cricket. It is a similar yeah. machine. I I just opted when I was shopping around to get a silhouette every you know, uh, whatever your preference is. And so you can do the shoe the whole thing. I find that having the shoe like like a full color kind of helps with the stenciling because if you if you're like finicky about the details, well, when you buy shoes that have a pattern, the shoe doesn't usually align perfectly with the like the heel doesn't you know what I mean? Like it's two fabrications, and there's usually like a, a difference between the heel and the rest of the shoe. Mm -hmm. I find this way, it just kind of like breaks it up. And when stuff's got a pattern on it, it's a lot. This way, I don't know. I find it just kind of. Do you wear heels, Mar? Uh, not anymore. 
Not anymore. I gave you them up. I, What'd you do with your heels? I gave them up when I stopped dyeing my hair. <laughs> So. Um, yeah, no, I stopped wearing them because they hurt my back a lot. So I, I wear them like I wear, I wear like boots with really low heels sometimes, but not the high ones like I used to. You see, this would be cute, like the design, never mind the leopard, but like for a wedding, you could do the heel and the bow in, let's say, just white and then glitter up the front, or there's just that cookie cutter is, um, is copper it's a nice cutter i have the the link is in the supply list they sell it's uh i always not know how to say their name ecrandle ecrandle i don't know if i've heard of that ecrandle no ecrandle, ecrandle. anyway and so <laughs> they sell copper cutters and uh, their stuff is really cute here this one here you can see i brushed mm -hmm. this one can you see at all the well, yeah, yeah, you can yeah. See the, i can see the the fur like That's I was trying to see if it would make it look. Yeah, yeah, it's like a fur effect. Yes, the video um, will be on replay. Yes, it's Nancy. The video is uh, available. All the videos, all the lives are available in the live gallery on Facebook and YouTube. That's it. So that's it, I guess. I do want to. I, I can. Okay, Jeremy. We are. Okay. We're very surprised. I guess. <laughs> well, hand, tell me what you're doing right now. <laughs> Hey. Oh, Caitlin has the leopard pumps like that. Excellent. Oh, cool. So, Han, what's happening now? What's happening now? Well, I don't know. We're going to have a split screen. <laughs> so, um, remember, Jeremy, how I was saying that everything, you know, that at the camera angle. So, be be ready for a really weird uh, setup. Again, technical difficulties. Something going on with the USB cable, a USB port, or something. So hopefully you'll see um, you'll see what I'm doing. Um, Jennifer, the sh the fur effect. She yeah. just brushed. She gently brushed the uh, leopard print when it was wet, so it kind of like gives a little bit of texture. Yeah, with a pastry big, brush. It's a bit big, eh? On this one, a little big. No, why not? No, Lady Gaga would wear it. That's true. No, 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 no. I like the bigger one. Do the big one. Do the big I one. I like the bigger one. <laughs> Let me put more icing back on it. I think I like the bigger one. Sometimes you, it's nice to have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's yeah. that's cute. No, nothing wrong with a big <laughs> ball in the bag. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, a, a tip that I had seen at Cookie Con is if you're doing the small cookies, ideally roll them thinner, and they just are more proportionate. So if you can roll your small cook, and then obviously don't bake them like you would bake your other cookies. But if they're thinner, it just fits better when you're going to do something like this. And then also, um, it's just less heavy, you know? And so you can kind of glue them on. Yeah, and that's, I can, a, that's a really good tip. And ideally, really put it in the wet icing. Don't stick it because it's going to be very flat. This way, it kind of like really gets in there. And you can see it makes a really cute little set. Here you have your, your bag and your... Adorable. For Mother's Day, for bridal shower, from, for, I mean, I girls' mean, nights out, right? For anything, for mm -hmm. so many different occasions. With the little, oh, so and you can little. fill it with things. That's oh, yeah, you can put a little gift card, you know, wrap the gift card and put it in and have like, here, let me get the other ones. You can see there, this is the, let me switch the camera. Mm -hmm. My favorite. The little, a little purse so you can so in cute. it. So what's the plan? Are you going to give these to someone or is this? They're not real, like not anybody I like. There's somebody I hate <laughs> here has to steal cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that. So that's it. That's yeah, just a fun project. And it's really like for, honestly, like it's a beginner project because you could do whatever you want. Like this is sanding sugar. It's not a super piping detailed thing. Mm -hmm. you put it together, it's a box. So it's very nice. Hi, magical. Amy. So beautiful. Hey. Sally says, oh, the comments are coming too fast. Sally says that it's just awesome. So I'm on time. Yay. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, where is it? Here is the test. Yeah, that would be so. Oh, fun. yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, hey, hey, June. Hi, June. How, how is uh, Charleston? Jo June is traveling. I was traveling to Charleston. Oh, hi. Right, so I'm going to attempt. <laughs> so guys, don't be don't be scared. There is a, a portion of the screen appears it's green. <laughs> it's only because, like I said, there are some difficulties. But you can see my cookie, right? Yeah. So you should be you should be okay. All right. So I'm gonna start off by showing you somewhere here how I make um, a template. Like now, I don't have a silhouette. Um, how do I? Should I leave it this way? Or do we may put it on a big screen? I think the big would be idea. Like uh, here, let me switch the, this there. But if you okay. want to show your pictures. Yes. So today I'm going to show you how to decorate some of these sport cookies. Now I don't have a stencil cutter like Marlene or Amber has. So I usually resort to make my own templates from cardstock or um, I also use the uh, Miller or Mylar, is it pronounced? So this is a soccer ball that I made and this is available also on coffee.com. And I also use the same technique to create a volleyball template, basketball template, um, baseball and tennis ball. And all of these are available in a bundle for $5 for um, 24 hours. And these are some of the supplies are also listed on coffee.com. It's a clickable PDF when you go on the site and it will take you to some of the items that I use to create the cookies and to decorate. So let me show you, this is a template and I printed this on cardstock and it's a three inch template. So you wanna make sure that you use the correct uh, book size cookie cutter. You could obviously, I guess, make it bigger and use it with a different size cookie cutter if you wanted to. I'm going to cut out all the shapes with an X on it. You can use scissors, but you also need to need an um, exacto knife because you can get everywhere um, mm -hmm. using scissors. Make sure that you use some kind of a cutting board underneath so you don't do this on your, you know, grandmother's dining room table and you don't ruin it. Now, oftentimes when you're using the exacto knife and you're pressing down with your index finger, um, it hurts like hell. Oh, so Marlene nice. had suggested years ago, I think you said that somebody you, is using, um, what's the thing called, the seamstress? Uh, they it would wrap the blade with a band-aid. Oh, with, ba with a band-aid, okay, mm -hmm. well then I, I just ended up using the um, um, liner. Like, and it worked really well. So I, my finger didn't really hurt that much. And I'm going to create short slits. That's the red line that you mm -hmm. see. And these are going to be really useful. We're going to use a marker and trace the outlines on a cookie. So that's how you can make a template out of cardstock. And you would use the same technique uh, with the Mylar material as well. Super so, fast. Uh, it's, uh, it is, it is, quite fast i think i mean if you don't have a stencil cutter or if you don't want to yeah. press in one or or you are in a pinch you can really um all right so i have i yeah. think it's worth the effort because then you save a lot of time trying to yeah. figure out the cookie right because if right. you don't draw that uh, so I actually couldn't find cardstock here in spain at, for some reason so i ended up uh, this is actually a photo paper Epson oh, okay. that I used, um, but then I found the cardstock. So this is the, the one that you saw in the video. And now all you have to do is you place it on your cookie. You see how perfect my cookies big? This is the first time you see more. I use the mat. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. So this it. is a perforated mat that I used today. Marlene had recommended these last year. I had bought them, but I never used them with cookies. And they, oh my goodness, they're fantastic. They, they really held their shape nicely. So you want to position your template on a cookie and now we're gonna just start with edible marker. I'm using, this is a baker pan. It's also listed in a live supply list. On oh, coffee. And that's in your, the coffee shop. Yeah, I put the link mm -hmm. in the comments so you'll be able to mm -hmm. click on that. 
And again, for those of you who are joining us, the reason you're seeing green screen because I'm having some technical difficulties. But hopefully you're still able to see what I'm doing. You can see. Oops, okay, so I forgot. So now you want to mark the sections that are going to be black and they are going to be white. So on the soccer ball, pentagons are black. So this is a pentagon. So we're going to, I'm just going to do a dot and hexagons are white. Now this doesn't look like much, right? So if you need a little help, you, you can connect these or you can just go ahead and start decorating. I'm going mm -hmm. to connect these just so you can see how everything comes together. Now soccer balls are not something that I would decorate um, frequently simply because they take so much time to do. Yeah. You could use uh, stencils and airbrush, but I I just don't feel like the airbrush does, does the soccer ball design justice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's nice. Now we've got, um, did I? Okay, very well. All right, so now um, important thing about Royal icing. So I'm going to be using white and black, obviously, but you could you could easily I mean swap up the colors and make something really colorful and and fun. And I'm going to start with black. And I would say this is about 20 second consistency. And what I'm going to do I'm going to outline everything, except obviously I'm not going to go around the edge. I'm going to leave the edge blank. Okay. And you want this line to be on a thicker side. Well, this is technically like that green cookie you had done, right? It's like a quilting. Kind exactly, of. exactly. Oh, yeah. Did you put the perforated baking mat in the supply list? I did not, my bad. We'll have to add that. Cause that, I just started using it too, it's so awesome. I'm making a full or partially full stop at the corners here. I didn't think it was gonna bake, bake that well. I really honestly thought it was going to spread or something, but they baked so nicely. Mm -hmm. I only have two mats. Do you have more, more, more? I got, uh, I think I got four. Um, just because my oven takes three cookie sheets. So I figured mm -hmm. I'd have to like rotate, you know, like usually mm -hmm. I'm pulling one out, the other one goes in type thing. So I can have like, four cookies. I'm going to, I need to get my scribe tool. You see this icing is pretty thick. So you want to agitate the icing while it's still wet. Um, problem with these soccer balls is that they take so much time because you have to do each little section individually. Right. So now we're, we're moving and we're going to the, the outer edge. So I'm going to start here. And you want to, like I said, use speaker icing. I would say 25 consistency, 25 second consistency, or around there. It's what's going to give it the more realistic kind of yeah, soft look. Yes. And like I said, this is uh, rather time consuming. So I don't know if I'll finish. Because <laughs> I also want to show you how to do a baseball. Mm -hmm. But you would ice all of these sections with black. And then you have to let it crust for a little bit. And then you come in with the white and you just fill in the section with white. So Han. Oh, did I just um, mess up? Do they, when you put the templates, did you link your YouTube video in it? Well, for the YouTube video, I only had soccer ball cookies. I haven't mm -hmm. done. Um, did I just mess up? I think I messed up with my own template. <laughs> it's okay. Yes, I think this sh this should have been this should have been black. So show okay. them how to fix it. 
Okay, yes, I will. I will. I will. Is I the, think yes. I think this should have been white, right? I got so yeah. excited for it. So yeah. this should have been this is going to be white. So this is a handy tool. Mm. A booboo stick or um um one two in one tool. Are you gonna do the tennis ball as a tutorial at some point? Yes, I was going to actually show how to do it today. I have it prepared. So oh, if nice. you guys want to see the tennis ball, we can move on tennis ball. But I, let me let me just quickly show you how to cookie surgery. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, cookie surgery. See, I made a mistake. So this one, this one, this one. So every other one. Yes, it does happen. So let's continue with the correct one. Now the tennis ball was really fun, I have to say. I really, I somebody had asked me to do a tennis ball years ago and I was like, ah, it's such a, like, there's nothing much to it, right? But I had so much fun making my own, um, um, like, a, it's not a sanding sugar that I created. It's like powdered sugar that I, like, I use granulated sugar that I, pulverized with oh. food coloring, creating oh, super fine texture and it creates like a felt almost yeah the texture look. is so cool um jennifer's having trouble printing her templates maybe you can um just send us an email yeah and, um a message through coffee and we'll try to help you we might need to email them to you yeah yeah, I guess I'm in a second conversation about templates. So if you're a, a beginner with regards to, you know, um, kind of uh, images on your computer, well, PDF is normally used for documents. And usually that'll print to size. It'll print like, let's say, a PDF document. I'll format some of them like that. But other templates, I usually will put them in a JPEG form so that you can size them accordingly to the cutter that you own. So these are kind of things depending on your like setup, how you like produce your templates and stuff. Oh, what you, you do JPEGs as well? I only do PDF. Well, it's because uh, if, if you're doing like different sizes, sometimes the, the size that you set on PDF doesn't apply, right? Mm -hmm. What do you remember? What do you say? Oh, that is true. That is true. I mean, I, I mean, I always, I, I guess there is a way going around it, but I haven't thought that not, not everybody. Um, I've just been doing JPEGs and then the the studio files for the um, silhouette machine. Yeah, that's it. Like if I know, like for example, like royal icing transfers and the sheet already like all multiple sizes and I just want to make sure that it prints well, I'll, I'll save it to PDF and load it to PDF. Well, that's it. If you're having problems, you maybe um, watch a YouTube video about printing uh, JPEGs maybe. Mm -hmm. Right, so now you, you're gonna have to let this crest and then you can fill in the white, but I'm, I'm just going to do it right away. Just so you, or should I wait? Maybe I'll, I'll move this aside and I'm gonna do the uh, tennis ball. I, I thought PDF worked for people even if they didn't own Adobe. I wonder if that's an issue. Maybe, that's a good question. It might not um, even work. PDF? So you can create PDF in work. I mean, what do you mean? Well, like if you don't have Adobe installed on your computer, can you open? Okay. Yeah, you should be. No, I mean the. No, no. I don't know. Well, I think you you at least need the reader. You know. Yes, yeah, you do. You do need a, some kind of a reader. I mean, a, a Word that you can create PDF in Word. Um, yeah. Anyway, to make the make the tennis ball cookie. So here's the finished tennis ball cookie. You see. You and so I, I created a template to make the design the pattern obviously i'm imagining I'm ants walking on it like little ants you know like little black dots with little legs <laughs> just it's such a and, nice <laughs> and what i did i spread a thin layer of white icing i also used um this brush i use this brush you can also use a small spatula uh, this is from a Wilton. it's also listed in um in the bundle in um in a live stream supplies. It's a really good set of brushes from Wilton. And now I'm going to I'm going to use my scribe tool. So I'm very gently scratch the surface of icing underneath. Yeah, studio files are only for the if you have the stencil cutter. 
So if you don't have that, then you won't be able to open the studio file. So that's why we include either the JPEG or the PDF of the same the time. Transfer, I guess it didn't really transfer. Press harder, or I'm going to use harder. So for these things, you can also use the marker. It's not coming. You can, you know. You but don't you use a black one, right? I am using a gray marker though. This is, um, it's it's sold as silver gray, but people also often get upset because it's not really silver. But if you think about it, gray comes in different shades. So mm -hmm. I think they're referring to um, the gray, that it's like a silver gray, but it's not metallic, okay? But that's a really nice light gray. I like that marker. I have it. Well, if you're trying to make very discreet guidelines, it's yeah, like, it's, it's almost it's like good. it's almost like a pencil, but yes, a marker. Yeah, that's the reason you can't even see it. Can you see it? It's hard. No, it is. Yeah. It's, it's hard. hard, it's hard to see. But can you okay. see it? That's what it's about. <laughs> I can't see it, but it's not like because the light here is kind of odd. Mm -hmm. I think that if you don't have a gray marker, could they use a yellow one? Because people are more likely to yes, have to use a yellow one. one. Yeah. I think that's probably so, okay. So first I have to show you the task I made. So I pulverized everything. This is a granulated sugar that I pulverized with um, some neon food coloring, electric food coloring. I use electric green and then also yellow. So that's sugar. Mm -hmm. This is sugar, yes. It's um essentially like powdered sugar, like maybe like cast that cast um yeah, super think, fine sugar, I would yeah. say. Yeah. I thought I thought you were gonna pull out uh, cookie dough, like cookies. I thought that's what you had done is like your mom. No, no, I, I um I wanted like a felt kind of a texture, and uh, I think Manu Manu cookies. She had done powdered sugar, but I wasn't successful with powdered sugar. It didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I was pulverizing powdered sugar, and it wouldn't uh, uh, blend together with food coloring. So. That's my option for this instead. All right, so I've got my color here and I also use the same colors to um, color my icing, electric green and yellow. If you don't have electric green and electric yellow, you, what you can do, you can color your royal icing with just lemon yellow, make it super bright yellow and then just add like a touch of green, even leaf green and you will be able to get like this nice bright yellow color, okay? So this is going to be also decorated in sections. I'm gonna ice this section, middle, and then the out, outer section. Try not to ice the sections, the little little um, channel, mm -hmm. but that's what's going to create that tennis ball. So Han, did you eat one of these cookies? I'm curious about the sweetness. What? Because I said, oh, oh uh, no, but I have been like dipping my finger in, in the sending sugar, in the sugar. <laughs> no, but but, I, mean, I would think that if you add sugar to your already sweet cookie, it's going to make it pretty sweet. Um, yeah, but sending sugar is also sweet. Yeah. And you just decorated the whole, a whole purse with it. No? So, I mean, oh, yeah. I don't I, think this is not my commentary. I'm just asking a question that was. Uh... <laughs> No, I mean, like, I mean, I don't think it's going to make it a lot sweeter because it's not, it's super fine sugar. Mm. It's not like you're putting a lot of sugar on it. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. No. The technique is so, it just looks so realistic, the texture that it's like. I don't think it will make it any sweeter. So and, if, cool. and if you find that it does, I mean, you could. Um... These are all fun projects. Father's Day's coming. You guys put this in your in your like to do list, and like you could pair them with uh, a little gift card, or you know, like uh, whatever for your dad or your husband. Maybe bake some cookies with your kids. These are cute for to give. Mm -hmm. okay? A lot of men play tennis. Yep, my husband loves tennis. Yeah. It's one it's of the. Like, me too. Uh, I love watching it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I thought about like the sports that kids learn. Like, how many sports do the like you know that's carried on as a for adult life? You know what I mean? Like, not too many grown men at the soccer field is my point. You know, like. 
Oh, mm -hmm. yes, I guess, yes. But the, but tennis, you have to be pretty fit to play tennis. Yes, but right. I mean, it's one of those sports that adults can, you know. Play. Yeah, yeah. Um, Nicole, I have a tutorial for this on my blog at um, sweetamps.com and on my YouTube channel. You're already on YouTube, so it's there. I did that a few years ago. And then you have one for the, the thing that's really popular now, gardening. Gardening, yeah. Because my last year, my husband was so into gardening. So I decided I would make gardening cookies for Father's Day. Something a little Oh, different. the ones you did, they were for Father's Day? Yeah. Oh, I thought they were for, for sure for Mother's Day. All right, so now I don't have a spoon here. So I'm just going to, um, you don't want to like overload it, but. Oh, so it's just a very light, you don't even need that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so okay. much for trying to go light. Well, you, what you do, you you shake off the excess. Amazing. And that's what you have. And it blends perfectly with the green stripe. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, gosh. Yes, it does. So this is super simple. I haven't done the tennis racket, but that, that should be really cool as well. But look, uh, this is the, these are two cookies that I decorated. This one had the lighter base and this one has darker. You see how much darker this is, the one that is on the left? So this one had more yellow. My, my base mm -hmm. icing, my front icing was more yellow. I think I prefer this one, but I guess, I don't know, it's like, yellowish greenish color yeah okay. i mean it's a so, slight difference so yeah. that's the tennis ball mm -hmm. so now i guess i'm going to show you quickly how to do the how to do the baseball because that's super popular sport isn't it what is the slogan uh, america's pastime is it is it is that's it, it. Mm -hmm. it's um it's super popular but no offense i think it's boring as hell. Yeah, I don't watch it. So I don't, I don't watch it. I think if you are at the, maybe at the stadium, you get like the hype and everything, but watching it home was a torture. I must <laughs> <what you> do. <laughs> but I do love watching soccer. So what you do, you take your template. You, you could just cut this off. That that would be a whole lot easier yeah. with the scissors and just place it on a cookie and make two lines and then ice these, let those crust and then ice the middle. Okay? Then you have to let it dry. Now, I know this is not a traditional approach to, to baseball cookies because usually you see them iced like this, fully iced. You know, and then um, people usually just make the lines and make the stitching. But because I like to complicate things, <laughs> I created this design many years ago because I felt like it would look more realistic. Yeah. That's so, so that's why I divided the cookie into three sections. And now Marlin would be really handful if you could hand me the airbrush. <laughs> My airbrush is in the basement. Yesterday, I nearly... Um, I nearly you know, started. just put some cocoa powder on your fingers. I have uh, I have actually brought these. So if you don't have so this was airbrushed with some brown just to create some scuffing, and I also airbrushed the the seams. Okay. Now if you don't have an airbrush, you have um, two options. You can either leave it plain, let it go, and forget about it, or you can also use and these are some edible um, dust that you can use. This is I think Wilton Brown, and these both are also Wilton. Uh, this is like dark green and this lime green. So I'm going to use dark dark green. You could also use edible marker. Cocoa and powder hand works great. I haven't, maybe your cocoa powder is better, you know, like I haven't had a, like it does work, but I feel like it's not going so dark much powder. into the pores of that. Mm -hmm. Maybe your cocoa powder is probably like different, you know, okay. quality or something, I don't know. What you can also do, you can use edible marker and run it across the seam, maybe in areas, and then take very, very lightly damp brush and blend it in. That's another thing you can do. But I'm going to use the brush. 
First roll them under the fridge and then pull them out. They'll be nice and neat. <laughs> <laughs> that too, that too. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to use, uh, these are similar brushes. This is a lot finer. This is from um, Borderlands Bakery. This one, it's really nice. So I'm going to try and... So you don't want to add too much cocoa powder, just a little bit. Yeah. Not too much. Not cocoa powder. See now, now you got me. I got, I've got cocoa powder in here. <laughs> All right. So I think uh, maybe I'm a little too much. Let's see. So basically, as yes, Marlon is right, you could do this easily with cocoa powder. If you have it, like I, like I said, the brand I'm using, I guess it's not. And this is um, and, enough or something. Yeah. When you mm -hmm. use the, the Wilton, they call it color dust. And color dust, like, yes. This is a color yeah. dust, yes. It's not I mean, I, it's not the same as the airbrush, I mean, obviously. The airbrush just gives it really like more realistic look, but for what we are doing today, I think it's gonna be enough. Like I said, Marlin would have to have me her airbrush. I need to get one of those. Uh, wireless the wireless one, one? yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. The thing is, is it's one of those things that you don't have, like, it's just, I was looking at the one you have listed in the um, in the coffee today, the black one. It's fifty fifty five dollars uh, or something. It's not that. Cheap. I think it's even less if you order from AliExpress. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I wanted to create really realistic stitching. I don't know if it's visible here or not. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Little dots. Oh, your black oh, dog, the, the whole yeah. yeah, so it's an extra step because, mm -hmm. you know, you have so much time on your hands, guys. So I'm going to use, these are both brown markers. One is Food Doodler and one is, uh, you can't really see, it's Sweet Sugar Bell. Um, these are both brown. This one, I mean, hopefully it's going to have enough color. So what I do, I make little dots. Now, if any of you thought that baseball cookie is a simple cookie, now think again. <laughs> you were wrong. You were totally oh, I, wrong. I think that's it. It's all about the level of detail and how much time you have. Like, mm -hmm. all you can is going, like, this is a demo, and you could certainly simplify if you need to make a thousand, you know, you want to edit and work accordingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And now for the stitching, I'm just using red real icing. To cut the bag, I'm using T-plus bag. These are also listed, and we get, all of us, we get tons of questions about these. Um, so they're also listed in the coffee shop in the supply list for this live. So this is exactly- Now, I always struggle, you know what I always struggle with? Uh, the, the angling, like, is it, like, I always think it's, you know, like, that they should all be facing the same same uh, side, but it's not. All right, so ideally you want to place the dot so it's not covering up, not the line, the, the stitching, so it's not covering up the dot you made. Mm -hmm. And it's raining here. Oh, here too. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it still raining? Mm-hmm. Oh, they say what? April showers. They, yeah. better, they better end soon. Well, here in some areas it was snow, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. there was snow here too. Not where I live, but in the mountains. Yeah, no thanks. I'll pass. You don't have any more snow, ground snow? 
brown snow brown. at the mall. At the mall, there is brown snow. The big pile from the dry, you know, the parking lot. Yeah. When you pile it up and pile it up and pile it up, it's so huge that it lasts, I mean, forever. Mm -hmm. It's a giant mountain of sludge. Yeah. It's just gross. They eventually sent a tractor in to break it up. Okay. Batter us up. Yep. Awesome. Score. Oh, it's time is up. Okay. Look at you. <laughs> right on time. I had one more plan, but it's okay. We, I think everybody knows what how what a basketball looks like. I also wanted to tell you that you could use like not everybody has time to obviously do these elaborate things where you have to. Uh, flood every other every section uh, separately so what you can do you can also use the template and uh, pipe on top of it and just pipe the black i and see it will, yeah it, it mm -hmm. will save you some time mm -hmm. i'm having a hard time figuring out where i should put it so it's <laughs> okay we see there is a little dimpling here but that's okay i'm not gonna worry about that so that's you can you can also do that if you don't want to do the sections you could ice the cookie let it dry and then trace the template outlines on the icing and then just plot the pentagons and you should be good to go. Those look so awesome. And I see like if you because I remember when I shopped for my son when he was younger you can Google balls and see like maybe you know in your area like there's a different color things like you can get the soccer balls are custom you can get pink ones mm -hmm. like each little section is a different thing like it doesn't have to be black and white you can kind of exactly, yeah. exactly. that's a good idea that's exactly exactly you could even i think you could even airbrush it you could um you could let them like if you wanted you could start with white and airbrush it with like some fun early design you know here uh, sandra has a great idea Put a bow mm -hmm. on the dimple yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's an excellent idea. So this is a basketball, another variation where you create the line and then you can also do the basket, the netting. Um, you could also airbrush the basketball to give it a more realistic look. Use uh, orange airbrush color and just airbrush it around the edges a little bit if you wanted to. And there are so many different ways you can decorate these. Really, uh, you can make them as simple as you know as you can, or you can complicate them and go over the top. I've seen the ba basketballs done with lots of little dots piped all over, which they they take quite a lot of time to do. Yeah. You could also do. Um, That's a future project for Amber. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here, here it is. So this is, and I think Kali from Sweet Sugar Bell. I don't know if you. I don't know what is this fabric called. Or like this is plastic. I don't know. Is it like a bag for onions? Yeah, I, yeah, it's like something like that. But this has, um, if you have a tension uh, tension loop, you would put it in the tension loop, and you could airbrush your cookies with it. But I felt like this had two big holes in it, mm -hmm. and you could airbrush your cookie, give it the mm -hmm. texture that it has. You know, the real basket. Yeah. Sure. Okay, that's another uh, thing. Okay, so I'm out. That was awesome. Very good, Han. So uh, if you guys are in. Apologies again because of the green screen, but. Oh, well, it's la vie. It's things right. are technical. So these are all the balls that she made today. You'll find that in her coffee shop. If you want to purchase those, the supply list. I also have my supply list. Amber, you have your, uh, you say more than the filigree? today i've got i didn't put anything new this week but i've got just my filigree my eyelet lace my octopus um and then like the wallpaper photo so those are all two dollars through tomorrow awesome awesome and i have uh again i'll just mention my class on may 1st if you're looking for a fun mother's day gorgeous just occasion to hang out so this is a platter it all goes together it's like a big puzzle it makes a giant flower so it's just a perfect for mother's day huh yeah mm -hmm. do they uh, do they get a template so they can cut it out or how does i it think that the i don't know that they're giving templates because those are cutters and so they only you know what i mean like then you're kind of like stealing the person's cutter uh you know what i mean mm. i don't know what the 
etiquette would be on that. You know, they're selling a cookie cutter. And it's on May, May 1st? It's on May 1st, yeah. So guys, you need to, uh, yeah, go go ahead and sign up for Marlene's class. She's amazing. And the worst case, we'll just goof around. If we're <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't say that. Guys, you need to go and sign up. It's on Global Valley. Do we have a link? Do we have a, a link? The Global Belly link was on the picture. There it is. Okay, let me, um, I'm going to. Yeah, put a clickable one in the comments. If I can get the clickable link, because, right. yeah, it's hard to. But anyway. So thanks, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll have the templates <laughs> up for the $2 until uh, tomorrow. So 24 hours to give everybody on replay a chance to purchase them. And if you want to catch any of the previous lives, they're saved also on our Facebook and on YouTube. You can rewatch all the previous live streams where we do all kinds of. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm just putting in the comments everywhere, Marlene's class for the platter for Mother's Day. And it's only $35, right? Yeah, exactly. And what is it gonna do? It's, it's really a bargain. It's only well, 35 I was gonna instead of what yeah. just watching us all the time you know they just watch us now they get to actually like do it too so yeah I, that's fun yeah so that's fun you get to interact it's a mm -hmm. live where you're actually doing something too right yeah i'm doing one this weekend on sunday i have a class yes 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 i remember now but uh, hers is sold out so don't go look for it yeah. <laughs> but I, can they sign up for notifications when a new one is is posted though um, so i the thing that i do is i send out a notification first to my patrons oh, okay. when I have a class so they get the first dibs on the spots and then um i send out a newsletter so if you sign up for the newsletter you'll get on that list to be notified on your blog yeah that on the block okay oh i wanted to jennifer the texture on the tennis ball the sugar it really took i like, use the uh, mixer i mean it, you just watch it i mean you just watch it until it goes to powder i really i didn't i just no. yeah it's not like uh, rocket science yeah you just pulverize it until it becomes powder that's all well thanks everybody yeah thank you everyone See you next week. Oh, and if you want to join me on Tuesdays, I'm on with Amy for Cookie Therapy. So see you guys next Friday. Bye. Bye. Bye.